Hello there, ladies, gentlemen, and unicorns. I want to make an announcement on my recent announcement. Pixel Prophecy won't change, there won't be a channel overhaul, especially not to something such as Alpha Wolf. This has just been my cheeky little prank for April Fool's Day, as some of you might have guessed, although I don't know how you could have because of my impeccable acting. Ow! <laughs> no, I love making games and gaming and Ludum Dara and everything with games. I love it just way too much to ever grow tired of it and give it up. Also, all these things here, this this will will stay. Well, well, the, the, this one won't stay. Everything but but the top will stay here. And also, I will keep making videos and also will never venture outside unless I really, really have to, like for shooting prank videos in the woods. <laughs> yeah, talking about those videos, we, we, we shot quite a lot of them and they're also so stupid. So yeah, I, I just thought I'd share them with you and hope you have a good time. <laughs> Enjoy. When out in the wild and you're looking for water, it's the most important thing to know where water is. And the trees help us with that. See this part of moss here? This is the weather side. This means that rain is coming from this side, so you always know where to find rain. When building shelter, you don't need a lot of twigs or anything. This is enough. This will withstand rain and hail and snow. Because the most important thing is to keep the air flowing. You don't know how many suffocate when out in the wild, so... And we're good. Today I want to talk about knives. Yes! Those things are your trustiest friends, especially when you're out in the wild, because you really need to know how to handle them. So this is not your average noob talk, this is just for the pros on... <laughs> Shit. Once you have water, it's important to know how to make fire. And we've been doing this for thousands of years, using our good old friend, stick and wood. Most people don't use the big wood because they're afraid but you don't have to be afraid. Once this catches fire, you won't have to worry about starting fire ever again, trust me. Two more hours, Max. Ooh, I can almost smell the rose. Once you have taken care of your needs in terms of water, shelter and fire, you want to get some grub in. Mother Nature is plentiful and you see there are lots of uh, mushrooms growing. Pretty much all of them are edible. Yum! The trick is to chew around the toxins. Ah, toxin! This really is the multi-tool of the outdoors. There's nothing this baby cannot do. Um, you can start fire with it. It provides shelter. You can throw it at your enemies to ridicule them. And even if your enemies are stronger than you, you can use it as a white flag. You can even eat it. <laughs> really. You shouldn't. This is the perfect place to build your home base. We are safe here from any predators. This is the epitome of a comfy bed. I mean, I've, I've, I've never slept better in my entire life. So comfy, wow. Good night. If you need fire but you can't find a stick, or a tree or any other kind of wood you can use this here to make fire and it, it's very simple it's very simple you just have to take a bunch of those and rub them together it's just really hard it's, it's less about the technique it's more about motivation a bit of moss just to kindle the fire oh it's not working see th this one is a little bit moist 
course, it's not the plan. You know, in nature, nothing is really toxic. It's your stomachs that have regressed over centuries of digesting nothing but processed foods. So it's more about untraining your stomach. And it's working great for me. So I got there with, with my daddy's bow and everything and you know, I, I just I just thought what's the worst that could happen and it suddenly exploded and the air went straight through my head. And I don't know how this could happen. How could this happen to anyone? I don't know. I don't know. But the worst part is it's the second time it Yeah, th that was how I overcame my fear of trains. There are multiple techniques to make fire. For example, you can use one of those sticks or you can use stones as flints. But I tell you a secret. The fastest way to get fire is to combine these techniques. Watch closely. You have to be very fast, of course. <laughs> Usually should have fire by now. I don't know why it's not working. Probably because there's a lot of moisture in the air. Let me speed. Identifying edible plants can be hard. My rule is to always follow your intuition. You got here the, the frizzy outline, but what's important is the shape of the leaves themselves. I mean, this, this looks like a spoon, and we use spoons to eat soup. So, this is perfectly healthy. This little radio is amazing. It got everything that you would want. You got a solar panel, you got an antenna, you got lights, and you got the best radio stations from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. And it even has this little hand crank here in case you need this extra boost of electricity. The only downside is that when you crank it, it gives you a little bit of, of static electricity, but any electricity that you can get is, is quite cool. So um, yeah, I, I, might, I might hang on to this because this is it's really cool. Just, just don't touch it too much. When you need water, but there's no rain, there might be puddles. And you know what? It's no surprise that mud is called healing mud because it's perfectly drinkable. 